Hello folks, the moon was at 92% illumination last night, so I didn't really feel like fighting it with my LRGB filter, so I decided to go with HA and just have a, a fun night capturing different objects. And and the moon right here, this was just something I read a lot with my Nikon P900 with that 83 optical zoom. It's a fun camera to play with. But let's get to the first object I, I captured. And I was using my refractor. It's It has a focal length of 480, but I also bought a reducer, a 0.8 reducer, a couple months ago. I didn't get a chance to use it, and that brings my focal length down to around 384. So that, that's, that's about as wide field as I can go, and some targets, it actually looks pretty cool. And this is the Crescent Nebula. And I think this is a really nice target to go wide field because you get all this cool nebulosity going on around it. And if I, uh, this is actually only one hour's worth of data, 12 pictures at five minutes each. And if I zoom in, um, the stars look pretty good. Um, edge to edge, uh, this picture didn't come out too badly. Other pictures didn't come out as good. If I go to the top here, eh, they're a little bit elongated up there. But when you're when you're zoomed out all the way, no one. I mean, I'm not going to be zooming in that much. So I like how this one came out. Now the elephant trunk. This is actually the the first object I captured. You know, these objects are all um, come out. They they all come out very late. This one actually rose right above my neighbor's house at midnight. But um, I, I had to rotate it. I think it looks better when the trunk is facing upward. And this is the one where I had the most difficulty with the stars. Um, they just don't look that great edge to edge. Although they they looked worse last night. Maybe I was a little bit delirious. I don't know, it was late last night. But yeah, you can see how they're again elongated in one side. And they, uh, th this one probably wasn't great. But if you look at it from far out, it's not too bad. I like how this one came out. I didn't crop any of my pictures and I did very little processing. So I probably could have fixed this area here, but this area was probably scraping the top of my neighbor's house. I'm wondering if that's what caused this, this extra brightness. So that's the elephant trunk. Okay, now this is the Pac-Man Nebula. Now I like how the first two objects came out the crescent and the elephant trunk because there's a lot of nebulosity around them. But maybe this one isn't such a great target for wide field because it's all you're getting is the Pac-Man and not much else going on there. So I probably won't use my reducer with this one again. But it was a good test just to see how they look. And so that's Pac-Man. Um, the Pac-Man was really low on the horizon, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that the lower I go, the worse my stars look. That's just a guess. I, I'm going to have to look as to see why some pictures look better than others with the stars. My guiding was pretty consistent throughout last night. It wasn't great. In fact, I thought it was pretty terrible. The RMS error was around 1.3. Normally, it's around 0.65 or in that range. I would have expected it to be there, so... Maybe I was out of balance because I changed things around. I, I got to check what was going on there. But that's the Pac-Man. Let's move on to the next thing. Oh, okay, and that's the Wizard Nebula. Now, I didn't, I, I didn't spend more than an hour on any of these objects last night. And the Elephant Trunk probably had the lowest amount of data, only 50 minutes worth. All of my exposures last night were five minutes each. My ADU was coming out very low. I'm not sure why it was below 500 on all of these, which I'm told is below where you want to go. 500 should really be the minimum for my camera. And, and, and they look grainy. I probably certainly don't have enough exposures for any of these, so that's why it looks like that. But like I said, it was just a fun night just to capture lots of different objects and see how they're going to look with this refractor, especially with the moon out there. So... That's the wizard, and if you look closely, you can see why they call it the wizard. There's the eyes right there, the nose, these are the hands here, I think another hand there. And this is the telescope I used. I was using my refractor as the imaging scope with my ZWO and filter wheel hooked up to that. And this 
little telescope here I was using as my guide scope with my Lodestar X2 guide camera hooked up to that. And because I started so late, um, around midnight, I was planning on using the earlier time to use my SCT to capture Jupiter with, but I, I had a comedy of errors setting up last night. It was all my fault. It cost me two hours. I guess I was out of practice because of all the rain. I forgot a few things. So, But I'm still going to try and capture Jupiter because I want to get more of its rotation. Last time in my last video, I showed you what it looks like with 20 minutes worth, but I really want at least an hour and a half or two hours worth of that. So that's going to be fun. Okay, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.